Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott's decision to distribute COVID-19 relief funds, based on racial criteria, raises concerns of reverse discrimination. For too long, public dollars have simply just gone to the big names and the big players in town. And, and dare I say, I know my staff is going to hate this, the big names and big players in town that just happen to be white-ran organizations in Baltimore. Uh, this investment uh, made possible uh, through the American Rescue Plan Act, thank you, uh, President Biden, thank you to our congressional delegation, underscores our dedication to ensuring that all artists and communities have equitable access to resources opportunities in Baltimore. Such a strategy appears to sow seeds of unfairness and discord, contending that the distribution of public funds should be merit-based and responsive to genuine needs, irrespective of race. It has the potential to spark apprehension regarding equitable treatment, fostering frustration and resistance particularly among organizations led by individuals of Caucasian descent and their allies. The legality and constitutionality of such policies may be subject to scrutiny with a focus on upholding the fundamental principle of ensuring equality before the law.